Well, hey everybody, it's Sandy and welcome back to my channel dedicated to helping you advocate for your own health one topic at a time. Yeah, I'm back from vacation, guys, and today I've got a product review for you. I've got the ACI, which is Advanced Concept Innovations, Duckbill Style N95. So if you want to see my full review, just keep watching. Yeah, so first of all, I just want to say my usual thank you and welcome. I see I've got a few new subscribers and I'm always happy to see that. And I also want to thank the people who've been with me um, since the beginning or since very early on. So as a lot of you already know, I've created this channel just sort of as a public service and my way of giving back. I know with COVID, I can't believe we're coming up on two years now. The emphasis on masks and other PPE for that matter, it, I've just found that there's a lot of unmet need and I felt like I was able to fill a gap there. So it's sort of taken us on quite the tangent and I'm still sprinkling in a lot of my other content and my vision for my channel. Yeah, and so speaking of respirators, I do have a couple new respirators. Today I'm going to be reviewing only the ACI duckbill respirator. I do have one more duckbill respirator. I'm going to be getting that video online shortly with a full review. And I just want to give a shout out to Armbrust. Armbrust actually sent me these. So most of you guys know that I don't do affiliate links for this kind of thing on my channel. So I'm going to put a link below in the description box as I always do. And there's a coupon code. It's not an affiliate link. I don't get any kind of commission off that. You know, I started this channel really with a public service of, as my way of giving back. But I hope you guys don't mind that I do gracious except when anybody wants to gift me these so that I can review them thoroughly. I, other than that, I just spend everything out of my own pocket on these. So yeah, way of giving back, way of going broke, I don't know. So I hope it's okay with you guys that I did graciously accept uh, this and the upcoming duckbill respirator from Armbrust. And thank you to Armbrust. So let's get into it. The ACI duckbill respirator is an, a NIOSH approved N95 and like I've said before, this NIOSH approval really makes my job a lot easier. It's sort of like I remember back in the days when I was sort of developing my own criteria for masks and I said I wanted to have polypropylene layer. It was three layers. There was a whole bunch of criteria and then some testing, makeshift testing that I would put it through. And, you know, I'm really kind of glad for all of us that most of that's over. But the N95 NIOSH approval really helps to just standardize everything. Now, it doesn't change the fact that the fit is going to be very important because once you filter down to this tiny little particle size, you actually create a lot of resistance. So if the fit is not near perfect, you're actually gonna be breathing from around the mask or respirator rather than through it. So it's very important that if you want the filtration that a respirator pr provides you that you're actually breathing through it. And I'll get into more of that in just a moment. So the ACIs do sell for $49.95 for a box of 50. So even without our discount coupon code, that's just under a dollar a piece, which is about the most inexpensive respirator that I've found. Our code is Sandy20. Armbrist has graciously offered us that code. It's not a one-time use. You can use it as many times as you like, which is really nice. So with 20% off, you would get this box of 50 for just around $40 or under a dollar an item, which is kind of unheard of. Now the ACI respirator does come in a one size fit it's all. It is a blue duckbill. So you open up the box. They're not individually wrapped. I'm going to take out that pamphlet. They're, they're not individually wrapped. They come like this. Now, I don't mind that because if you're getting it from a reputable retailer like Armbrust USA, you can always check with the manufacturer if the retailer is authorized. I think somebody brought up in the Facebook group, the Sandy's DIY Health Advocacy Facebook groups page, that there is something called the N95 Project, which is sort of a clearinghouse for N95s. It's a nonprofit organization, and that was in relation to the Gerson N95 respirator, which I reviewed not too long ago. I'm going to link that video up here. So somebody mentioned that when Armbrust was out of the Gerson N95, that they found it at the N95 project. And in fact, when I checked with Gerson, the N95 project is an authorized retailer. I did not see ACI, at least as of the time of making this video, on N95 project. I guess succinctly what I'm trying to say is that if you find something at the N95 project, I would think it's particularly important to check with the retailer that actually you're getting a legit item because I just think that when you have some sort of a broad-based a nonprofit clearinghouse type thing, I, I just would think that there's more room for illegitimacy to maybe creep in there. I also wouldn't buy something like this just on Amazon unless it was being sold by the manufacturer, in which case I would check with the manufacturer as well. So, you know, something where I got a bunch of these loose, not individually wrapped in a Ziploc bag, no. But something like this from Armbrust, yes, I'm fine with that. This one is a blue duckbill. I haven't seen any other duckbills, at least nothing that I've reviewed that comes in blue. I kind of like the color. 
Now, as usual, this is polypropylene, melt, blown, spun bound. It's an NIOSH, NIOSH approved, so I don't have to get too far into the specs of the item. So it does have this interesting nose piece. This is actually a carbon wire. It's, it's a very thick, right? It's very wide. Um, carbon wire, it feels almost like it's kind of a plastic. It's real smooth. I haven't seen a nose piece like that. And just like the Gerson, it comes with what looks like one wide strap. Some of you might recall that when I reviewed the Gerson, I said I didn't even realize that the strap comes apart in two. I was a little surprised. I thought, I thought an N95 is supposed to have two straps. Well, it turns out that these split apart into two. So I'm not, not going to split these yet because I'm going to actually wear it with, as one thick strap, which I had done at first by mistake with the Gerson, but subsequently realized that for me, it's actually a better fit. So I'm going to do it both ways with this. So for the purpose of being able to show you that I'm not going to separate this just yet. Now, one thing I will say about these duck bills in general is that I think that these are a particularly good option for people who have smaller faces and mostly I mean narrow. If your face is too long, it could pose a problem. My face is a little bit on the long side, but I find that these duck bills, because I'm sort of petite in this direction, these give me a really nice seal, a really nice fit for the most part. Now, I've also found that a lot of these, and this probably varies from person to person and from product to product, but I have found that very often the duckbill style of respirator is a good option for people who have this deep set concavity in the eyes, which I have and I'm prone to getting leak right in these corners, right here around my eyes. I can feel it. And you know, just because that's my particular challenge, I'm always on the lookout for something that addresses that very hard to address problem. In general, I find that the duckbills do a good job of that. Now I've had a chance to try this one out already, but I'm gonna put it on. This one is a brand new one I just opened out of the box, as you saw. So one of the things I have found with these duckbills is the best thing to do is to catch this under your chin. So you're not using both hands, like one down here and one up high, and you can have both your hands devoted to the nose piece and or the strap. And this will take care of itself because you're gonna catch it under the chin. So let me show you here. I First of all, I, I kind of open it up and give a little bit of a, a roundedness to the nose piece so I know that that's gonna to have to shape over my nose, obviously. I hold it by the strap and I catch the bottom part under my chin, and then I put the strap up very high. In my experience, the higher the better. Oh, I didn't put a clip in. I normally have my hair clipped up when I'm wearing some, uh, something with a head strap. Now, the best thing I have found, first of all, double check that you have this all flat because sometimes in the corners, you'll see there, it tends to fold in a little bit. So you want to make sure that that's all nice and flat because that's going to contribute to a good seal. Um, then put the head strap where you want it. If it's too low, it'll start to slide all the way down. Too high, it'll come up. So there's a sweet spot there. It just kind of depends on the shape of your, your head. And then what I do for the nose, for this leaking in the corners and the concavity around the eyes, is I start out, I, I press right here in the center so that I, I don't want like a point where there's gonna be escape right there. So I press in the center, and then from there, still pressing, I work my way down. So can you see, I'm, I'm pressing all the way down. And then, you know, now if I start to press out here, I'm gonna take away from that conformity that I just put right over my nose. So I'm going to leave my hands here pressing very hard so that when I pull here, I can't take from anything that's inside my fingers. So I'm going to do this while I'm still pressing this in. Okay, so I'm, I'm pressing this here and pulling this here. So this is conformed as much as it can be. Same thing over here. Now, if I just come along and pull this, it's, it's going to make this looser. So this, in my experience, is the trick to getting the concavity around the eyes taken care of. Sometimes you're also going to have to play with the height. So a little lower, a little higher, that just depends on the shape of the bridge of your nose. And I, I find that sometimes I have to adjust a little bit. We're going to see in just a moment if I have to with this. But, you know, I do find this actually quite comfortable. One of the nice things about the duck bills is that it is, by definition, it's kind of off your mouth. Now, if I take a big deep breath in, yeah, I'll feel it against my lip, but we don't walk around taking these big, giant, deep breaths. You know, that, that's a nice thing to look. It's a nice diagnostic to see that you're really breathing through the product because the product collapses in. And that tells me I'm breathing through this filtration, not so much around it. Hopefully not around it at all. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put the safety goggles on. They're relatively clean today, guys. 
So one thing I do want to say about safety goggles is don't put them on like this, like grazing the side of your head and working under the strap because that will disrupt. You know, this is, it's extremely important that you have a near perfect fit. So I always stretch these out a little bit and make sure they are coming over so they're not disrupting the headband. I thought I had a little fog here, but I guess that's a mark that I missed. Yeah, because it's staying there. So, oh no, there I'm getting a little bit of fog. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm getting some fog over here. Okay, so I'm going to adjust this a little bit. I was able to get this mask. I, I actually had a chance to wear this out and about so that I could, you know, review them properly for you. And I did get it so that I didn't have any fog, but I did have to play with it a little bit. Yeah, that's better. That's much better. So, all right. And at this point, I can move my head around. It's not changing its location or anything. Nothing's moving. I can still take my deep breaths. I'm not getting any fog. I do like the color. And one thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to separate the straps now. And I'm going to wear it the way an N95 would normally be worn, which is one strap up and one strap down. Okay, so now they feel much lighter. So I've got this one strap down here. Let's see if that does anything. Still good. All right, still good. So, one thing I will say about this particular mask is it is very comfortable. It has a very thin feeling. It's not super hot and has comes at a great price point. But I'm just going to show you. I'm going to take this off now. I don't know how it's going to work the second time. One thing I've noticed is that I do have a little more of a challenge with this one than I do with, say, the Gerson in wearing it again. So we've talked about this before. Technically, an N95 is a one-time use. It's disposable in order to be NIOSH approved. It's a one-time use disposable. So we can't. I can't say that I recommend reusing this. And, you know, I don't reuse these for like if I wear it for several hours or I go in somewhere where it's particularly risky, I'm done with this, I throw it out. But, you know, if I have to run in, like do an errand, okay, I have to run into the bank or run into a store or something, yeah, I might take it off then, leave it on the seat of my car, and then when I go to the next five minute errand, I'll put it back on again. Because, you know, I really don't think that the filtration is affected. It really has to do with, you know, how much moisture builds up and when you lose the electrostatic charge. I wouldn't do that for days at a time. I just think that, you know, the whole purpose of wearing an N95 is because you want to be exquisitely careful about your filtration. So yeah, you have to recognize that this product breaks down over some time. But one thing I have noticed that I really have to watch for is how many times I can take it on and off. I think just the act of putting it on and taking it off and pulling the straps around the head and adjusting the nose bridge and stuff, you know, that leaves some permanent changes in the product, in, in its shape. So I think maybe every time I'm doing that, I'm like making it a little more difficult to get that custom fit the next time. And I'm finding that some respirators are better than others about allowing me to do that. So this one, one of the drawbacks I have found with this is it is it is harder to get more uses out of it. So if you have to just wear something that you're going to be putting on and taking off several different times in short order, you know, this one at its price point, it's great, but it might not be the best thing for that particular application. So let me just go ahead and put it on now that I've had it off. So it might have to do with, you know, these straps, they have a kind of an interesting feel. They sort of feel like crepe paper or like surgical gowns. I'm just getting that bottom rim flattened out, like I said. Um, you know, I don't know if it has to do with the way these stretch over time from, you know, the stretch of taking it off and putting it on. Let's see, maybe I'm usually able to get it at least a second time. Yeah, that's pretty good, actually. So that's still working well. And by the way, that's something I've just noticed now in reviewing some of these N95s. So I'm going to start focusing on that in future reviews. 
Um, just for the sake of a review, the Gerson I have used that way and I find that I can get multiple, you know, putting on and taking off. So even though you just saw me get another good fit without any fogging, this one is a little less amenable to that. So it's just something to keep in mind with any one of these respirators you're wearing. If you're wearing them and putting them on and taking them off in short order, you know, having to put it on again, you're going to have a limited number of times and you're going to want to check the fit each time. At some point it will be done. You know, I just want to give a close up of the strap so you can see, like I said, it's kind of like a crepe paper, but very elastic. So it's, they're really very soft. They're really very thin. Let's see if I can get a good with the camera to focus there. You know, and like I said, they sort of feel like that material that surgical gowns are made of with just tiny threads of elastic going through it. So I really do like these straps. I find that they're very comfortable and the fact that they're wide, I think that contributes to a lot of comfort as well. Yeah, so final thoughts, I, I, I like the color. I love the price point of this for an N95. This is a pretty unbeatable price. I do think that it works well with the concavity under the eyes. I, I think some are better than others. So as in general, duck bills for me work better than other kinds of N95s. Uh, there probably are duck bills that are still a little better than this one for me with that. But as you saw, I can work with this a little bit and get a really nice fit. I do think, again, it's very important to check it and to recheck it when you have to take it off and put it back on again. Make sure you like have another one with you. If this is going to be your go-to one at this price point, you know, why not? Have another one with you in a plastic bag or something so that if this one decides that it's all done, you can put on the other one and you're not really stuck. So let me just thank the kind folks at Armbrist again for not only sending me these so that I could get a chance to try them out and review them for you guys, but also for their generous coupon code, you know, Sandy20 for 20% off. You can use that as many times as you want, whenever you want. Um, there's no limit. And yeah, I just can't thank them enough for how helpful they've been. I think they're doing a great service you know, to, to everybody. All right, so let me know if this was helpful. And until next time, be well. Bye-bye.